Now, KLBK's first warning weather with meteorologist Chris Whited. Mostly clear conditions out there for tonight. We did have some showers and storms in the far northwestern South Plains this afternoon and this evening did bring some rain uh, for areas mainly in Palmer County, also a little bit back into uh, eastern New Mexico around the Clovis and the Portales area. Things are quiet though out there tonight. Taking a look at the live camera now on top of the Overton Hotel. It's quiet on the Tech campus. It's quiet here in the Lubbock area. Again, just a few cirrus clouds here and there across the area. You saw those during the afternoon period. We'll keep a few of those around tonight and tomorrow. Where it has rained today, it's cooler. It's 76 in Clovis, 75 in Friona. Mule Shoes, 87. Not really seeing much rain there. Lubbock still holding on to 91, 92 at Lake Allen Henry, 88 in La Mesa. Floydata, you're at 87, 91 in Turkey. Matador, you're at 88 as well as the Plains area. The wind coming in tonight, mostly out of the south. A few spots seeing a bit of a southeasterly wind. It will stay breezy tonight with a wind about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Dew point numbers are relatively dry out there. Again, we've got dew points in the 50s, a couple 60s here and there. So even though it'll be warm overnight, it shouldn't be as muggy since the air is just a little bit drier. We've still got high pressure over the region, although you did see this little area of showers and storms pop up late this afternoon and evening across the far northwestern portions of our viewing area and those quickly moved up into the panhandle and dissipated. Otherwise, we've been seeing the uh, daily shower thunderstorm activity back into parts of New Mexico. RPM model here for future trackers showing well, mostly clear conditions overnight tonight. When you wake up in the morning, we should be looking at numbers in the mid 70s across the area with mostly sunny conditions and then as we get to midday, we're still looking at mostly sunny weather, and that'll be the case into the afternoon. Notice some clouds here in parts of eastern New Mexico, the far western South Plains. Just like we saw today, we'll keep an eye on the radar. There could be a couple of isolated storms pop up near the state line and linger into the evening period. Tomorrow night, we're looking at mostly clear conditions. We'll start to see some changes on Sunday. Notice a few more clouds as we head toward midday across the area. Later in the day and into the evening, we're going to have a cold front move into the area. Notice some areas of green popping up here by the early evening hours. We do have a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm coming up Sunday night into Monday morning and then maybe a few isolated storms Monday and Monday night. But really the big story with this front is going to be the cooler weather where we're seeing highs in the upper 90s, low 100s across the area. We're going to be, see high temperatures dropping back into the 80s. About 103 the high tomorrow in Muleshoe, Morton 102, Level End 101. I've got plain view, or at least this model has plain view, I should say at 98, probably going to hit 100 there in the Plainview area. 99 to 100 across the uh, Floydata Silverton area. 103 is out here along the Highway 83 corridor from Paducah down to Guthrie. We'll head down to the south here. 102 in Jaden, 101 for Lake Allen Henry. Tohoka, you're at 101, Brownfield, Denver City, and the Plains area about 100 and two degrees 74 tonight mostly clear. We'll keep that south breeze about 15 to 20 miles per hour for tomorrow. Once again, temperatures around 100, mostly sunny, a south breeze about 15 to 20. Sunday, we start to see the changes, highs dropping back into the middle 90s and still an isolated storm, as I mentioned there, Sunday, Sunday night, maybe Monday, a little better chance at 20%, but highs in the mid 80s, Monday and Tuesday. Look at the lows early next week, low 60s. Keep in mind the normal low is about 68, the normal high about 93. So after being above normal for the past week, Terry, we're going below normal as we get into next week. I just can't wait for those morning lows. Give that air conditioner a break. Oh, no, for sure. Me either. Thanks, Chris. More news still to come here on KLBK. This softball player is taking the bottle cap challenge to the next level at only 12 years old.